Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Good to be back with you again for another Advisory Board Spotlight. Um, this time we're joined by BCG, and we're going to be talking about decarbonizing your supply chain. Uh, in very 2022 fashion, I have one panelist with me here in person, Dexter, and then Charlotte is joining us here on the screen. Um, so we'll be bringing both of them in, into this conversation in, in a very fun virtual and in-person combination. Um, so Dexter, since you're here with me, I'm going to start with you. Um, you're at, at CDP, you're Global Director of Corporations and Supply Chains, for Supply Chains. Um, you were telling me beforehand when you started at CDP in, in 2008, you were trying to explain desperately to people what scope three is. Yeah. And now we're having whole panels about this and everybody in this room knows what that is. So, so kind of tell us a little bit about how, how we've gotten from, from there to here and really why you guys at CDP are thinking now is the time to go beyond direct admissions to really think about supply chains. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see that scope three has become sexy. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's amazing to see so many people interested in the topic. Uh, when we started out on, on our supply chain work, there was a whole lot of uh, evangelism to do. Oh, this is really important. You know, and I'm going to give you some numbers that will further reinforce that, hopefully. But I think um, there is a huge recognition that we need to take action across our value chain now. Um, and I think we've done a good job at building an understanding in the market. 11.4 uh, times uh, the average company's emissions are actually in their supply chain. So if you're calculating the, or, or managing the emissions from your own direct operations, you're only really managing the tip of the iceberg. Um, and so the real impact is down there in the supply chain. And what we've learned from this past year of disclosure at CDP um, is that only 38% of responding suppliers, so we, we surveyed 13,000 responding suppliers last year, um, and these are big players with many, many subsidiaries and divisions, so you're talking tens of thousands of companies. Only 38% of those organizations are actually engaging their own supply chain. Even though we know that there's this huge uh, risk in the supply chain, there's too few organizations actually taking meaningful action. Um, and at CDP, I guess we're governed by an outrageous sense of urgency now. We've got eight years to reduce emissions by 50%. I mean, it's crazy, right? And if we know that emissions are significantly in the supply chain, we've got to be taking action. And it's our responsibility at CDP to enable that action. And that's why we've been working on this new tool to help organizations look not just at their own operations, but also across their value chain. This product life cycle is really important now. I think companies got a little bit excited by product data back in, in 08, 09, 2010. You can remember a couple of like carbon labels on products and things like that. But that data was pretty meaningless. I think we needed a good decade of building up the whole data ecosystem and the level of sophistication of reporting before we can really take a serious slap at LCA emissions, which is what we're going to do now. And I want to bring in Charlotte on this. Um, I think Dexter did a good job of, of setting up the scope of this challenge. I'm going to stay this way so you can hear my microphone, but she's right behind me. Um, the, the scope of this challenge, but tell us, Charlotte, about what companies can do. Like, What's the first step if they're trying to address what, what Dexter's outlined? Yes, hello everyone. The very first step is to start measuring impact. It's a basic principle in life, but what gets measured gets done, and that applies to carbon emissions along the value chain. And really starting to measure impact with reliable data at a granular level, at the product level, is just the first step that will, after that, allow to identify the right actions and put them uh, in practice in reality. So yes, starting measuring, and for that, it's important to bring the right tools and the right resources uh, to corporations so that they can do that at scale in a secured way uh, and fast because as Dexter was pointing out, uh, it's the time now to act and to act uh, fast. And this is why with CDP, uh, we've, we are very proud to partner to be building a CO2 AI product ecosystem, which is a data sharing platform, AI powered to really enable the next level of sustainability data sharing across value chains. Fantastic. And I think Charlotte gave a little bit of an allusion to the partnership that you guys have, have really built together. But talk to us more, Dexter, about how this partnership is helping to capture scope three emissions. Yeah. So um, at CDP, we started our supply chain program back in 2008. 
And the idea was simple. Um, for years, we'd been collecting data from large listed corporations on climate, water, and deforestation. Um, Walmart came to us and said, listen, that questionnaire that you've been asking us to respond to on behalf of our investors, can we send that to our suppliers? So then we started our supply chain program. And that um, came out roughly at the time that we started working well, WBCSD and WRI were convening the, the, the Scope 3 protocol, right? So that was the, the standard that governs this whole area. And there's two sides to that. There's corporate level reporting, and then there's the value chain, uh, product lifecycle standard. Um, we always had the product questions in the CDP questionnaire, but we didn't focus on it. Like I mentioned earlier, there was a strong belief on our side that we needed to build up company level reporting uh, in the first instance, so that organizations are familiar with this information and can gather this and report it and get it verified and it starts to improve. Um, but now is the time really for us to either really take action on the product piece or not play in that space. And um, so we worked with BCG to identify how we could bring a more engaging tool to the market. Those of you that are familiar with the CDP platform, um, we'll probably know that's somewhat challenging at times. Um, and uh, uh, we get a lot of uh, people struggling through that. And the, 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 the need for product level data is, is you have to have a digital experience to do that. You can't, you can't do it in the kind of traditional disclosure format that we've had at CDP. Um, so that's why we're super excited to team up with uh, the BCG guys who have been really uh, just phenomenal at building out the, the technology. I haven't experienced it before, but I was like, if I want to change, I want to add life cycle stages to a product, they just build it and it's there. Uh, I, I didn't think that was possible, but it is. Um, so that was fun. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Um, and Charlotte, for, for you, I want to know, what, why have just a few companies been able to do this? Why are they struggling still to kind of tackle this product level footprint measurement? Well. If I, if I summarize, I think there were three key pain points. Uh, the first one is just the data issues, you know, getting quality data, comparable data uh, with the right standards. There is a second issue, which is uh, the scale effect. If you want to exchange data at product level when you are a large corporation, you need to be able to exchange, in fact, tens of thousands of data points. So you cannot do it in an Excel or in a manual way. And the third thing was security of the data, sensitivity of this data, because those are data that, that suppliers or customers along a value chain care about, and it needs to be exchanged in a secured way. And this is why bringing technology to be able to solve this pain point is key. The platform that we are building with Dexter uh, is going to be a platform that solves all these issues. For example, uh, in terms of uh, data quality, as Dexter was explaining, we are helping uh, the corporations to make sure that the data they share is a good data with, with the right quality. We are doing some confidence scoring, some data checks enabled by artificial intelligence to bring up uh, the quality of the data and also to make it comparable and following the standards that Dexter uh, is telling us to apply and we code just what Dexter is telling us to code. But basically, we're really solving and helping to solve through technology the data issues. The second thing is the scalability effect. With a tech platform, suddenly you can exchange a lot more data than what you're able to do manually, right? And the third thing is security. And here it's very close to our hearts. Um, and we are building something that is extremely secured uh, with the right protocols, etc., so that corporations are um, feel safe about uh, sharing they, they, their data on the platform. And really, the logic is to through those uh, through this technology platform, solve the pain points that were uh, preventing uh, this data sharing and collaboration to happen, and foster a lot more discussion on actions and how to collaborate on the on the decarbonization. Dexter, in our last few few moments, how do we actually scale this? You've got this great technology. How does it scale? Well, there's a really good starting point. So we've made it free. Uh, um, so that's a, a really important step here. Um, the goal is to get as many organizations as possible around the world engaged with producing life cycle data and identifying the hot, stop, hot spots in their own value chains so they can really take action. That's what it's all about. We're trying to facilitate action at scale 
urgent action at scale, right? Um, so yeah, making it free was pretty much the first step. And then we will use that and hopefully start to replace um, the, the current lifecycle questions in the CDP questionnaire, phase that out, and push companies into this uh, product lifecycle tool, which will really help. Very exciting. Thank you, Dexter. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, everyone. And thank you to the BCCJ. Thank you. Thank you all.